Hello beautiful monarchs and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to talk about what's going on in the world. So in America right now, as I'm sure you are aware, there is a lot of unrest, there's protests, there's peaceful protests, there's rioting, there's just a lot, there's a lot going on. So today's video is going to be a compilation of some videos Instagram posts, Facebook posts from the dance community, some from actually African-American people in the dance community, and then some posts from others. So why it's important for us to talk about the African-American experience and why that is relevant to this channel as this is a dance channel, and I know a lot of people are probably like, why are you talking about race stuff right now? Other than the fact that it's a huge topic right now. Brazilian Zouk music originally came from the Caribbean, from the islands of Martinique and Guadalupe. And so it's important to remember that these beats that we're dancing to, this music and this dance that we love so, so much, comes from African American or African roots. <laughs> and it's important to honor that, it's important to talk about, and it's important to remember. So let's jump into some posts from black dancers in our social dance community and what they're saying about this. Okay, so this was posted on Instagram from Nicola Ballerina, which is one of my old friends and she actually is one of the reasons I'm a dancer, I'm a dance teacher, I'm a dance organizer. I uh, have so much respect for this woman. And I've gotta be honest, she's one of the strongest people I know. She's given me a lot of courage. She's been a role model for me. It's become clear that I may be one of the only black people that some of you know, and I don't have the emotional bandwidth to help you start to navigate a world I had to see and figure out the rules for starting with an energy poster birthday. Say something. Who cares if someone calls you a keyboard warrior? It's a start. It lets your community know that you won't let that shit fly. Don't think you will have space to speak to me about how annoying black and brown people are being about being slaughtered by the cops, when you walk away with a warning. I repeat, standing up against injustice is hard. Can you handle the pressure? If being comfortable is more important to you than allowing all people a seat at the table, unfollow me and go live your life. You are a part of the problem, but be warned, people will be closing in on your comfort and peace of mind soon. This is not a threat, it is a promise. This is from Mob Ballet. To all the ballet organizations who are working towards diversity, equity, and inclusion, and not openly and boldly acknowledging and addressing what is happening to black people in this country, this is a call to action. You want us? Stand with us. Stand up for us. Use your power, use your privilege in the spaces you hold to speak the truth to power. Help protect the bodies and lives of your black artists, students, faculty, and administrators. Rise up. So this was done by Tiffany Wright, and she wrote this above um, a video that she posted, and I'll be playing the video right after this. It does show some violence, so I'll probably be cutting those parts out because I don't want to trigger anybody. But I will read her description, and then I'll play the video. I hate, I love. I am definitely filled with more hate than love right now, and I am taking responsibility for my actions and emotions. Why are, we are in this battle together. I don't want to die. I don't want to watch the people I care about die. I don't think you do either. Is that, a not, is that not enough to listen? I hate. I hate racism. I hate ignorance. I hate violence. I hate that I find myself judging every person that walks by, wondering if they're going to hurt me. I hate thinking about the possibility of something bad happening to the people I love. I hate thinking about the possibility of me being killed because of my color. I hate sitting in my living room listening to gunshots over and over and over again. I hate that no matter how high I turn my TV volume up, I still have to fall asleep to shots and violence. I hate the fact that people think it's okay to burn down things and steal from the people they say they are fighting for. I hate that we are doing their job for them. I hate that we are killing ourselves for them. I hate that this is turning us against each other. I hate that people are finding more things to cover up from the real problem. I hate that the more pain that arises, the more we feel defensive. I hate that people are living in fear and are alone. 
I hate that I am living in fear and I feel like I am alone. I hate that kind words and supportive friends don't seem to help my pain. I hate the possibility of black infants and innocent children losing their lives when it was just beginning. I hate that so many moms have to fear their children getting hurt or killed. I hate that it seems like black lives don't matter. I hate that people are profiting off of others' pain. I hate the hate I feel towards other people. I hate that people will still find a way to degrade this post because out of all the things I hate, they disagreed with one. I hate that people are quick to criticize those who are trying to support rather than educate with compassion. I hate that people are getting shitted on for speaking up because their words aren't what you want to hear. I hate that people still find ways to discredit or blame somebody's emotions. I hate that people are so angry they are losing control. I hate that our emotions are taking us farther away from listening to each other. I hate. I love. I love that eyes attach to every skin color are being opened. I love that I can be a part of something meaningful in life. I love that I have the opportunity to be a part of positive change. I love that people are now more inspired to vote. I love that people are inspired to share meaningful media. I love that people are donating to good causes. I love that people are being unified. I love that people aren't taking no for an answer. I love that people are filled with passion. I love that we have a chance to create change. I love that I finally got some words out after struggling for so long. I love the inspiration being shared. I love that many people are standing up for black people. I love that many people are respectfully educating others. I love that people are taking time to educate themselves. I love that people are sharing their thoughts and trying to support. I love that people feel strong enough to open their mouths and speak up. I love that not all people are mean. I love that not all people are racist. I love that we are looking police in the eyes every day saying that we are worthy of respect, love, and freedom. I love that day by day I am feeling more and more proud to be black. I love that we are overcoming fears. I love how this movement, even if we don't win, will change lives forever. I love how this movement alone will forever make people realize how unequal things really are. I love that I am able to sit with so many feelings. I love that I am alive. I love that you are alive. I love peace. I love nonviolence. I love black people. I love compassion. I love empathy. I love support. I love. Hello, Editor Mimi here. Um, I just wanted to say, please, please, please make sure to go watch the full video. I had to do a lot of editing. One, because I didn't want to just completely repost her video, even though I have permission. Uh, and also because there was some violence in it. You can see in her posts that she says, like, warning. Um, so I did cut out the violent content as well. And I really... Uh, think it's valuable and worth watching in its entirety. So it will be linked down below along with a bunch of other resources, things that I've found helpful, things that other people have been sharing. Um, so please, please do go check those out. I am going to end the video here. I have more content. I just, it just feels like such a natural end. I feel like her video is so powerful. If you want to see a part two, please comment down below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye guys.